So season one for the first descendant behold some amazing new things. And today guys we talk about brand new details that have been revealed. New invasion dungeons, ultimate weapons, new void intercept battles, a trading merchant, how cool is that? As well as guys a brand new form of seasonal progression. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and before we go any further I am giving away Ultimate Descendants or the equivalent in that calibre. To win it's as simple as this, drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. Winners are picked and announced for the end of the week, so good luck everybody. Also join my Discord link down below for even more of the first Descendant. Okay, so over the past few days, we've had a couple of new sources come out with brand new details revealed to them by Nexon. And today, guys, we get into some amazing new forms of content coming to the game with Season 1 not too far away whatsoever. What, like 10 days now? Gonna be epic, people. Okay, so this news comes from Windows Central which is a legit source. I'm actually seeing this information coming out everywhere now. So I thought I'd bring it to you guys too. So the basics of this and the details they give are, and they state what you need to know. Nexon has taken uh, the wraps off the first Descendant Season 1 Invasion, and it looks amazing in the new trailer, which you're seeing in the background now. A new Descendant Haley, as well as the ultimate form of Freyna, headline the major content updates. But there's lots more besides that. Season 1 will debut a new form of seasonal progression to help players make their descendants more powerful, as well as a unique storyline for Freyna, which we saw a little bit of in regards to the trailer, which is getting a little bit emotional, teary eyed. I think that's going to be pretty cool for you Freyna fans out there. They also state new invasion dungeons, more ultimate weapons, a new void intercept battle, and an upcoming trade agent and so much more is also in store for season one this season one update of invasion now they're going to even more details on these specific things so let's check them out okay so the season one invasion battle pass uh, the first sentence will offer a brand new battle pass alongside a new fresh wave of challenges and rewards Nexon's promise is took criticism from the pre-season battle pass and worked to improve the rewards of season 1 and make the challenges more fair and worthwhile. Inversion reinforcement, this is the new seasonal progression and they state, perhaps in a similar vein as Diablo 4, Nexon is introducing new ways for players to progress and involve their descendants with each season. After encountering the Iron Heart for the first time, players, i.e. descendants, can undergo a powerful RK resonance to enhance their abilities. Players can then use the Inversion Reinforcement to gain incremental upgrades for hunting, attribute, recovery and survival, making their descendants more powerful over the course of the season. They also state it's not clear if this inversion reinforcement will reset with each season or if Nexon uh, will let players carry over upgrades, uh, perhaps to encourage players to switch descendants in order to upgrade each one. I mean, this is a very cool idea. I remember that a similar kind of thing within Diablo 4, but I'm very, very interested to see how they will drop this within the first descendant. And this is something brand new we had no idea about. Okay, so we're going to move on to Haley and what we know about her in regards to information about how and what she will offer. Okay, so they stay a new descendant, Haley. Season 1 will introduce two new descendants to Albion, including Haley, a guerrilla shooter that became a legendary sniper through her exploits. Haley is a chill attribute descendant equipped with an anti material sniper rifle, sub zero bullets, and a storm snare and is focused on delivering single, immensely powerful shots. She also has the ability to lower her body temperature and emittively emit cold air. That sounds super, super cool. And this goes toe in toe with the actual images and new information the first descendant tweeted out. You can see images of Haley here. They state here, guys. Eventually, Haley was tested for an RK factor and was found to have super cooling RK abilities that enable her to drop her body temperature to extreme levels and fire RK clusters instead of bullets. So, this is very, very cool indeed, people. 
they go on to state then an ultimate descendant, Frena. Another existing descendant is also getting the ultimate treatment. And this time it's the fan favourite of Frena. On top of obtaining the ultimate variant, players will also be able to play Frena's new exclusive story questline exploring her past trauma and this is part of season 1's narrative content. Pretty cool. They then go on to talk about new invasion dungeons, a new way to play. Invasion dungeons will randomly replace two hard mode infiltration operations on a rotating schedule and present brand new and unique obstacles for players to overcome. Now they state this which is very very interesting, uh, these are apparently solo missions uh, for some reason unless my press briefing was mistaken they state and are catered towards speedrunning enthusiasts, that is very very interesting. The faster you clear an invasion dungeon the greater the rewards you'll obtain. Invasion dungeons play differently than existing game content with new mechanics and objectives. Another very cool inclusion guys I cannot wait to learn more about. And then going to talk about another void intercept boss battle. Okay so another colossi has appeared in the void replacing Galutini as the most challenging boss in the entire game. Deathstalker specialises in hunting down descendants and is a toxic attribute monster that strikes from the shadows. There will be new mechanics here that players will have to unravel in order to have a shot at winning. So very very cool indeed guys and this again is what we saw within the season 1 trailer. We saw a little bit of footage of Furana fighting this uh, new void boss so that's cool too. They're then going to talk about guys, two more ultimate weapons. The first descendant armor is increasing with the arrival of two new ultimate weapons, including Excarver, I believe that's pronounced, and Thrust Watcher, which sounds cool. Excarver is a season one battle pass rewards ultimate weapon and is a modified assault rifle that crews charge as you fire it, eventually accumulating in a powerful energy grenade. Wow, okay so Frost Watcher is a new chill focused scout rifle that can be obtained by playing the season 1 content and both reduces chill resistance of enemies and enhances the damage of chill attribute skills making it perfect for Viesa and Haley. Very cool indeed. And they also go on to state guys there's actually more coming this season as well. Nexon has already confirmed that, like with the pre-season, Season 1 will enjoy mid-season content updates and additions. New features, quality of life improvements and fresh content are all expected. Uh, one thing we know will be arriving is a longer way trade agent in Albion, which will hopefully give us a way to offload our extra valuable research materials. So yes guys, brand new information here in regards to Season 1, Invasion, and I cannot wait to learn more in what 10 days. Especially about that trade agent too, I've got so many materials I need to get rid of. But yes guys, tell me your thoughts down below. What are you most excited for about Season 1? Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.